Wala Blege is an American of Liberian and Nigerian descent and professor at the American University. She is also an advocate for civil, women's and workers' rights and legal counsel for the Washington DC Nurses Association. In addition, she hosts a TV program offering free legal advice to local citizens in the state of Maryland and its suburbs, where she is now running for the Maryland House of Delegates. Wala joins me in the studio to tell us more about her political <clears throat> uh, candidature. Welcome to Africa 54, Wala. Thank you for having me. You know you're running on a Democratic Party ticket, and is this your first time? Yes, this is officially my first time running. I did run for a smaller position within the Democratic Party before, but to represent the Prince George's County residents, this is my first time. Now, this is a big undertaking for somebody whose father came from, is it Liberia? Yes, my oh. grandfather was a farmer that could not speak English in Liberia. And my dad cried um, a couple weeks ago because he says, my grandfather would have never guessed that we would be here we'll be in here this to... position. So uh, what are the issues you're looking at? Because we've seen political campaigns you know, here in the US, in Africa. What are the issues? The biggest issue, we have knocked on doors throughout the district. The biggest issue is education. Um, we have a high African population within Prince George's County, especially in my district. And a lot of people feel that they've moved to the suburbs for better opportunity and education. And then they have to kids pay for private school because they can't send their kids to the local schools because of the many problems. Now, when you look at uh, campaigns, whether it's here or the U.S., and especially when You've been born, you were born here. Yes, right? I was. But you, you've, been, you've traversed between, you know, here and Africa. And you mm -hmm. see how elections are. In fact, Liberia produced the first female African president. And uh, when you compare uh, the campaigns, what do you see as the major differences in terms of how we do campaigns back in the continent and how you do it here? Well, one of the main things is actually where the money comes from. Um, you know, in the United States, the money can come from the people. That's actually the type of campaign we're running. Um, you know, um, a couple of years ago, I was big with the Bernie Sanders campaign, and Bernie Sanders' campaign was a $27 campaign where the average person gave $20. That's the same campaign we're running. The average um, individual has given 27 not 27 about $30. Um, and that's the campaign. We've raised close to 100000 on that. Um, and, you know, in, in Liberia, I know for sure because, you know, we've been, I've had many in my family active with the local elections um, with President Weah. Um, and one of the things we have is that, you know, the, the payment comes from different places. In fact, it doesn't come from the people at all. And the people, are, and especially in Liberia, are very frustrated because they are not getting what they need to get from their government because well. they're not paying for it. Well, since we're kind of running out of time, let's look at what your goal is. If you do win, you know, in this election, do you see yourself seeking a higher political office in the U.S.? I do. I do. I plan to go as far as I can. Um, for Africans, we have many Africans in Prince George's County in my district. And one of the things that I want to focus on is making sure Africa has a voice. Um, right now, when you go into the circles, um, in the political circles, when they talk about immigration, when they talk about reaching out to, co to communities in need, Africans are never in the room never at the table. We're, we're, we're throwing money away. And that's what I told people, because everyone comes to America saying, I'm only going to be here for a short time and I'll return home. But then 40, 50 years later, they're still there. Their grandkids have grown up there. Their kids have grown up there and they're having their own kids. Um, but yet and still we have no voice. Make it um, home, Make and, it home it, and have a voice, right? Right. Make it home and have a voice. So looking at parenting, what are the issues? Parenting, the youth, you know, there are all these challenges we see around and it's everywhere, whether it's Africa or here. What are you, how are you uh, tackling well, we, that? We're looking at apprenticeship programs. That's a big thing. I was a, appointed to the governor's task force on apprenticeship. And what we found was that in co countries like Europe, they have robust apprenticeship programs where from a young age, kids start working in places to get um, on the hands-on experience, um, especially when it comes to IT. Those are the biggest um, job job creators. And frankly, that's why a lot of countries have, a lot of companies have to go afar to other countries um, to get people because our folks in the United States are not trained. So it's time to actually start training them at the young age so they can start working early. And what you say here works too for Africa, right? Yes. Voila, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Wala Bligay is a Democratic candidate for the Maryland State of House of Delegates.